Ann Kaplan for Mommy, your mama resource from conception to college, wherever you are in your momming journey. We are here for you. And I am so excited about the theme in the group this week. It's something that I've become more and more and more passionate about as my time as a parent coach has gone on. I'm learning about it by myself, with my family, and as a professional because I am a coach and I'm learning so much more. And that theme is that we as parents are coaches. We are coaches to our kids, and I probably am um, saying something that maybe isn't, isn't um, the way that you usually think of yourself as a mom. So think about who you think you're, you are, and think about um, what you think your job is as a, as a parent. Is it to protect your child from hardship? Is it to make sure that you have all the answers for your kids? I want to really press you and, and inspire you to try to expand your idea and maybe even change your idea of what your job is as a mom and the way that you can have a relationship with your child that is actually better for your kid and easier for you, which is the coaching kind of dynamic that I really try to encourage my um, clients to have. So today is Tuesday. It's my Mythbusters Day. I want to ask you guys if you fall into any of these misconceptions or or fall into the trap of acting out these misconceptions in the way that you relate to your kids. And the first, the first myth I want to bust for you guys is the same myth I bust every week, which is you're a bad mom. The myth that you're a bad mom, in this case, if your kid is going through hardships or if you don't have the, all the answers or if your child has to figure out stuff for themselves, you guys, come on. You guys have known me long enough now that you know that I do not believe that at all. And I'm a huge advocate of letting our kids walk their own journey and for us to be there as a coach not as the protector, not as a dictator, not as the person who tells them what to do or protects them from experiencing things or answers all their questions or solves all their problems. No, no, no. You're actually doing a great job as a mom if you're able to sit back, sit on your hands, bite your tongue, and watch your child struggle so, so hard through all of the things that life throws their ways. And of course, a great analogy of this, it's super easy for us to wrap our heads around, is like watching your kid learn to tie their shoes. Like It's not going to help your kid learn to tie their shoes for you to just tie their shoes every time, right? We need to sit back and say, do you want any suggestions? Yeah, have you thought about doing this? Or say nothing until they ask for help. And what does that mean? It means it takes a lot longer and we're super annoyed and we could sit there and say, oh my God, I can just do this so much faster ourselves. But guys, I want you to take that analogy and expand it to so many more deeper and harder things like watching your child deal with a friend who's not treating them well at school or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or watching your kid make mistakes in school and not do their homework or not plan and not get ready for school on time. Like all of these things that we often swoop in to try to help them or tell them what to do. Can you take that um, shoe tying analogy and apply it to those bigger, harder issues? Hard, hard, hard to do, but I want to encourage you to try. So second myth I want to bust for you, myth number two is that it's even your job to do those things. So I really want to tell you guys something I say to all my clients if you guys are working with me in the Whole Woman Happy Family program, in the Mama Tune-Up program, in the Mompreneur Mastery program, whatever program that you're working with me, I guarantee you've heard me say a million times, you can't make anybody do anything. So if you think that your job is to control your kids' lives, to micromanage your home and your family, you're, all you're doing is exhausting yourself and at the same time totally undermining and sacrificing the potential relationship you could be having with your children. I really want you to stretch yourself this week and reframe what your job as a parent is. So I'm going to tell you what I tell um, myself that my job as a parent is, which is my job is not to actually get my kids to do anything. Even when I'm talking about a discipline strategy, the point of that strategy is not to get my child to change their behavior. It's not to get my child to be someone they're not or not to get my child to do anything different. My job as a parent is to provide all of the opportunities and environment that my child needs to take advantage of if they're going to become the best version of themselves. All I can do is lead that horse to water. <laughs> and that's what I really, really want you guys to think of. I say all the time to my personal coaching clients, I am the door, you are the doer. 
it is exactly the same with our kids, you guys. So bust that myth right now that you're the one who's supposed to measure your success. The only way you know that you're doing a good job is if your child does X, Y, or Z, because guess what, you guys? You're not in control of your kids. So now you've set yourself up for a scenario where you're a failure because of something that happened that's actually out of your control. That is not a good dynamic to be in, and it lends an air of desperation to your parenting that makes it so that you're even less likely to get what you want out of it. <laughs> All right, third myth I want to bust for you guys is that kids need to be told what to do. They really, really don't. This falls back on this. You can't make your kids do anything. Thing. We talk all the time about how kids need structure, kids need boundaries. That's very, very, very true. But have I ever, ever said kids need you to boss them around? Kids need you to tell them what to do, what to think, and how to feel? Never. And because we understand that that's the case, that means that we have to accept that we're providing these opportunities and creating these environments for our children. And what they do with that opportunity is really out of our hands. It's not our job to tell our kids what to do or boss them around or be that dictator. Really, really challenge yourself this week to think about how you relate to your child. Think if you can do it as a coach. That is a theme this week, parenting as a coaching relationship. I really love this. You can tell I'm super passionate about it. And if you want to get more tips on how to actually implement this stuff and be a coach to your kid, I really encourage you to sign up for the parenting class that's, that's starting on the 17th. It's a four-week series. I'm giving away so much parenting techniques and learning that I never give away for this cheap. So check it out. I'm going to put a link in the comments below and tune in all week long because we're going to be really, really talking about this coaching concept in vivid detail. Love you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Bye.